Hello everyone, thanks for coming outside with me today. It is absolutely beautiful weather here in central Pennsylvania this morning, and it's a perfect time to get out and start thinking about archery season. We're about a month and a half out here in central PA, and so this is about the time when I really start focusing on shooting 3D targets instead of shooting dots on block targets. There are two things that I've learned, some the hard way and some because others have taught me. The thing I've learned the hard way is a thing called shooting for the exit hole, and I'll talk about that in a second. The thing that I've learned, and I've seen it more recently on Growing Deer uh, TV's YouTube channel, is dividing a deer into thirds. And I've been doing this for a long time, but if you want to think about a deer when you're going to take a shot about the top third, the middle third, and the bottom third, where exactly do you want to aim on that animal in order to make an ethical shot? Bottom third is the most lethal for two reasons. Number one, you're going to have heart and you're going to have lungs down here in the bottom third. Also, because of gravity, if you hit down here in the bottom third, the most amount of blood loss is going to happen down here, right, because it's the lowest hole. The middle is perfectly fine as well, not going to bleed as much, but you're definitely going to get double lungs, it's going to be a really good shot. And of course, up here you're getting into the spine and other meat and muscle, you're not going to want to deal with that. So, I like to aim for that bottom third line, and that means if this deer ducks a little bit, I'm still going to be right in the lungs, very lethal shot, and if they don't move at all, I'm going to have a perfect heart, at least a double lung shot. So back to the first thing I alluded to, which is shooting for an exit hole. That's a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to pull you over here and we're going to talk about that a little bit. First we'll talk about adjusting your shot placement and your shot angle for left and right. One thing that we all practice here, of course, is shooting an arrow, perfectly standing broadside at 20, 30, 40, 50 yards, whatever, and we're also standing on the ground. That is a perfectly level shot. We can get it through both lungs, both sides, and everything works out really well. We have a quartering away shot, and we have a quartering two shot as well, okay? Now, the problem is that I always had, when I started getting to quartering uh, away and quartering two shots, is I would still try to aim for the same spot that I would aim for if I was shooting broadside. Now, this is, of course, my younger years, but if you aim for that spot, Let's say I'm back here and you can see where my arrow intersects the body of the deer. You can see where my exit hole is. It's awful. It's atrocious. It's clear up in the brisket by the neck, maybe even hitting that opposite shoulder. But if I move it back towards the tail end of the lungs, towards the tail end of the rib cage, you know, back in here, if I move it back in there, I'm going to hit both sides of the lungs. Sure, I'm going to uh, hit the opposite shoulder on the other side, so I'm going to get a complete pass through, but I'm definitely going to get both lungs of the deer. Um, and I'm going to have a very lethal ethical shot. You have to really focus on where you want this arrow to end up, not where you want it to go in. So I like to think of it as shooting for the exit hole. So you have to play your angles. So actually, when I go to shoot a deer, I don't really think about where I'm hitting this deer on the sides. I'm thinking about where it's going to come out on the opposite side. But when I'm in a hunting situation, I'm going to aim for the, uh, for the shot that's going to give me the most lethal kill the most amount of lungs and heart and other vital organs hit in order to ensure that I have a clean ethical shot. So once you think about your exit hole for your left and your right on the animal, you can now start thinking about the vertical. Um, the thing for me with the tree stand is that I like to get as close as I possibly can. And so that means I have deer at five and 10 yards, which really puts this arrow at a very steep angle on the critter. Now, if I was to aim right here, where I would if it was a complete broadside shot, if I were to aim right there and this deer is at 5, 10 yards, you can see the angle. The exit of this arrow actually is almost right down here in the bottom side of the belly. I'm going to get maybe one lung. I'm definitely going to miss the heart. I'm definitely going to, of course, miss the lung on the other side. This is not a good shot. I need to actually move my arrow up in order to change the angle going through the body cavity of the deer. This will ensure that I get at least one long, if not definitely two, and potentially even the heart, okay? Now, the further the deer is away from you, the shorter or the uh, shorter this angle gets, okay? So I don't need to be nearly as high, right? I want to try to be down here. I want to shoot to have at least one exit hole in that bottom third of the chest cavity, right? So if I have a deer that's really in close and I'm up here in this upper third, that's okay because the exit hole is going to be in that bottom third on the opposite side of the deer. So the main takeaway from this is think a little bit differently. If you're having problems, let's say you've been hunting for a couple years, you've been hunting for a lot of years, and you've taken some shots and some animals and you've had some less desirable blood trails or you've had some good entry holes with some bad exit holes, start changing your mindset a little bit. Really be thinking to shoot for an exit hole on the opposite side of the animal, where that's going to be, what that's going to look like, instead of shooting for the entrance hole on the side that's closest. Pick an exit hole, don't pick an entrance hole, shoot for that, and you'll see better and more ethical kills. Uh -huh.